In this video, we'll introduce estimation. Estimation is really just rounding. You and a friend ate lunch at your favorite cafe. The check for the meal showed soup for $3.40, tomato juice for $2.25, a roast beef sandwich for $5.60, a chicken salad sandwich for $5.40, two coffees totaling $3.40, apple pie for $2.85, and chocolate cake for $3.95. Round the cost of each item to the nearest dollar and obtain an estimate for the food bill. Looking at 340, we can look to the right of the decimal and see that this is below five, round down to $3. 225, look to the right of the decimal, it's below five, we're rounding down to $2. 560, look to the right of the decimal, we get a 6, which is bigger than 5, which means we round up to $6. 540, this rounds down to $5. 340, rounds down to $3. 285, rounds up to $3. 395, that rounds up to $4. So let's add these up and see what our estimated or rounded cost is. 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 gives us $26. So we can relatively quickly do this in our head if we wanted to. Rounding, adding these numbers in our head would be relatively easy compared to adding up all the decimals in our head. But since we have a calculator, we can double check just to make sure that we're accurate. Now part B, the total bill before tax was given as $29.85. Do you think that this is a reasonable amount given that our estimate is $26. While these are pretty close, it seems like $29.85 is a little much given that our estimate is only $26. Let's see how accurate our estimate actually is using the real values. And so this time we will use the calculator. We have 340 plus 225 plus 560 plus 540 plus 340 plus 285 plus 395 the actual cost is only 2685 So our estimate of $26 was pretty close to the actual cost before tax. So if your bill before tax is $29.85, they're actually overcharging you by $3.